Welcome back, everyone, to our 100% playthrough of Icarus Alien Vanguard on PlayStation 5 Kex Doom Port. In today's episode, we are tackling Map 2 Shuttle Bay on Ultraviolence Difficulty. Now, before we do anything, there is a disclaimer with this one. We attempted the live stream earlier this morning, but... Um, the wife came home from work and got caught on stream, so that had to be thrown away. So this one is not a blind playthrough. We didn't get all the way through the level, but got a pretty good chunk into it. So, just keeping that in mind, we have 147 kills, 98 items, and two secrets to find. So if you remember in the last episode, when we had all the bazillion hit scanners to deal with, we were just boarding our spaceship to get off of that deserted planet. Either a uh, prequel or a sequel to TNT Evolution, since this is Team TNT that created this wad back in 96. So let's go ahead now that we are on the ship and work our way through it. One thing is for absolute certain, there are going to be hit scanners galore. Around every corner. In your face, in your hair. They're just playing everywhere. So let's go ahead. One thing I really like about this is how many people, when they see this, actually get the uh, Duke Nukem 3D vibes in that episode, too. Love how they put this together with the uh, scrolling wall textures. The various lighting effects to make it look like we're uh, off in space right now. Almost wish we could see the entire ship. But that's okay. Let's move on. Next area. Again, hit scanners are going to be the name of the game. The only difference is, unlike map 1, this one actually gives you health. So this one should be considerably easier. As we wander our way through, items are going to have to be something we're very careful of, because if you see on the ground, there are little health bonuses scattered all over the place. So that's going to be extremely easy to end up missing one or two by the end of all this. Basically just scour everything. And right here, we are actually at our first secret of the level. And you have to look really closely, but one of these pillars is not like the other. And it is incredibly hard to notice the difference. But it's this one right here. This is the pillar that is northwest of the bottom four. The textures are just slightly different. And I'll tell you, when we did the uh, initial playthrough this morning, I did not find that one. I actually thought I bugged the game somehow. They hit it that well. So moving on from there, let's make our way through the shuttle bay. Through the big doors, up the spiral staircase as the center lowers out from it. To give us health pack in case we need it, and some armor bonuses. Attempt to platform our way up the spiral staircase with no guardrails. There we go. And if we go down the lift, this door is locked. That's because it's uh, one way and only opens from the other side. So now, let's continue into the maze, which absolutely messes with my brain. The way this one's set up. It's basically a honeycomb pattern, but it kind of goes off in different directions. Like here we go berserk by the yellow key door. And now we can kind of funnel everything into the middle to deal with them. And again, uh, auto map I think helps the best here. Just because of the confusing layout. To make sure you get all the different side areas. Because just about all of them contain either a health or armor bonus. And I believe we've got them all. 
Okay, now there are multiple ways we can go when we exit this area. Um, auto map will always expose little hidden details and things that we should be aware of that might open and move. So far, we're good. We can see that the blue key is behind the yellow door, but we can't actually see what's behind the yellow door. Normally, you can kind of peek around corners. But considering I'm hearing an imp, I would say there's some imps back there. So instead, let's go up to these doors up top. And this puts us in another control room type of uh, area. There is basically me from map one with all those uh, bazillion hit scanners trying to take over that uh, central uh, command center. All right. And we can see right in front of us the yellow key. And if you have a room this big in a modern Doomwad, you better believe you're either getting trapped down there with a cyber demon, or you're gonna have literally a flood of revenants on this side, with a nice helping of barons behind you, pinching you in. But we have to remember this is 1996. We're not gonna get any of that. Instead, we're gonna get some armor bonuses and just a few hit scares to deal with. As a few zombie men pop up top. Just to take pot shots as. You know, the 90s were a calmer, simpler time. They didn't have to flood you uh, with every unforeseeable evil known to man. But don't worry, I have heard that Icarus Alien Vanguard does get quite a bit difficult uh, the further in it goes. Just like most of these mega wads, they're gonna eventually turn around and roundhouse kick us in the face if uh, map one wasn't a predicator of that. So at this point, we are at 76 kills, 41 items, one of two secrets after just getting the yellow key. Get our health back up, and we can see the big yellow doors over here. This map is so confusing with the layout, it's just easier to walk with the actual map once you know the area is secure. There's the imp we were hearing. And in here, we get the blue key. Another uh, pop-up from some hit scares. And we are well on our way to locking down this section of the spacecraft. So at this point, we have to turn our attention south. And this was that, uh, this was those lines we were seeing that we couldn't figure out what they went to. What's amazing, and I always uh, encourage and mention this to map makers, is many times the map will expose your secrets if you're not careful. Just like we can see uh, quite a few things that we may or may not uh, supposed to see without the actual auto map. But um, many times you can bust secrets this way if you just get close to them. Work our way up. Let's continue south into the shuttle bay. Take out everything down here first, but be careful. Because there is a window with a few more um, hit scares to deal with. Make sure we got all the random low health pickups. Because they are scattered like candy in this map. Alright, platforming. This guy's kryptonite right here. Take out some enemies behind a cage. And we want to go the opposite way we came in. But it looks like there's two different ways we can go. Basically, any way that doesn't have this jagged point is a different direction. Hey, buddy. Okay. Hall full of hit scanners. Random imp just caught in the middle. 
to be honest, this is uh, the much calmer and lighter version of Map 1, because thank goodness they at least flood you with health to deal with all these shotgun blasts. All right, down here we have a few different doors we can work with. This one is going to take us to a switch, and I'm guessing that switch is going to let some of our prisoners out of jail back here. Let's ignore that one for now. Let's see if we're right. No. But let's go ahead and deal with them before they become an issue. Hey, Empy. It's time for your medicine. You can get some, too. Okay. I'll come back in a day or two and check on you. See if your condition's improved. That's the switch that lowers their bars. So let's scoop up all the armor bonuses. Bring down the rest of the cage, which also brings down the ambush that we prevented by shooting through the window. Chainsaw. Ian, come on. Berserk Fist trumps Chainsaw every day of the week. Let's get that out of here and see if our map doesn't expose anything else for us. Now I am seeing back in this room, as we uh, do the moonwalk, two potential areas where there's something. And this is what we mean. Map makers, be careful. Sometimes uh, your map will crack without them even needing an auto map. Sure enough, it is. So here's secret number two, taking us back to the beginning. Yep, back to the beginning with a second Berserk. Anytime we get a chance for Mortal Kombat in this level, you better believe we're going to take it. So now let's make our way back where we were. This way. Again, when you have really complicated structures like this that has a lot of twists and circles, it's just easier to walk with the map as long as you know there's nothing there. All right, we can't go the spike way. This one's window. No, it's not. That takes you back to the front when you go this way. All right, and just like this, we are at 112 kills, 66 items. We have both secrets. Let's continue. So here's the exit of the map. Hey, buddy. Love tap. All right, plant exit. One thing I have learned in our short time in Icarus is the exit of every stage seems to be the red key. So at least we know um, if you're able to get to the red key, you're able to get the heck out of there. Let's move on. We went left last time. Let's go straight this time. And we have absolutely been here before. So where is our new area? Looks like there's a door back here. We overlooked. No, there's not. So maybe that's a wall section that opens up later when we trigger something. So we need to find where we have not been yet. Where does our world expand? Has to be further south somehow. That is what I'm guessing here. Because I notice when you get out here, we can see across the way from us is defined with textures so somehow we end up getting over there and heaven forbid the playstation 5 <laughs> ever allow us to scroll with this map night dive please help <laughs> our auto map is a turtle all of a sudden Okay, so what are we overlooking here? There's got to be a teleporter, I'm imagining. Because this was just a switch. 
because for us to get through outer space, there's got to be a teleporter somewhere that we are overlooking. So let's continue back to the main hub area. Is the riddle solved in the maze? Let's see. Oh, we have to click it twice. Gotcha. Okay, now we're back up in the maze. So now that we're here, so far away, let's check out the area with the spiral staircase. We haven't really done much with... Oh. Pfft. And that would be why. We literally came from the other side. Here's our teleport. All right. You better believe we are getting some use out of these berserk fists. We didn't get them for nothing. We got a few more love taps to dish out. Who wants a hug? Okay, that, that's a bit much. Line you all up and get the switch. Because you all, we need to kindly ask to vacate the premises. The shuttle bay is under new management. So that brings us to 80 items. We're getting there. Whole herd of hit scanners on the other side. Let's just take them out from over here. Also see shotgun soldier in the pit. But again, since they give us so much health, um, it makes us so much more comfortable than map one. Oh, and I love when uh, map makers do this uh, trick. They're such thin sectors to imitate the um, vertical ladder that you climb. And it's actually very seamless, too. I haven't seen a lot of people do that, but I love it when they do use it. So if we hit the switch, we raise the bridge. Okay, we also have the blue key. That gives us an air switch. Which I have no idea what that one does. So let's go ahead and cross the bridge. Health bonus. Hi. Okay, it's going to be one of these. Walk around the control room while we get pelted with hit scares. Gotcha. Much needed health, armor, take those two out. I think there's one more that we alerted. All of them good now? Okay. Now this definitely gives me flashbacks to uh, the first map. However, I do notice we have two warnings and one red alert. It looks like there is a room back there. So, do our panels do something? Okay, we did something. Okay, there we are. So, apparently, uh, hitting the red alert created an alert for you. As well as a staircase. Uh, that's what that uh, wall section was we were looking at. So, that brings us to all kills. We're still missing three items, though. And with what we've seen of this map, it could be uh, random health and armor bonuses literally anywhere. But let's at least look at the map exit and see if they are there. Let's teleport across. Again, we're looking for three items left. We have all the secrets, so it has nothing to do with those. Okay. Okay. Look how ridiculous this is. Literally, you can jump over it and not pick it up. Well, there's one, two, there's all of our items. Okay. So, for some reason, they thought it was a good idea to run on the stairs, considering you don't even backtrack this way when you go that direction. Nice. 
But the important thing is that was the last items we needed. So there's all items, kills, and secrets. This one so much calmer and easier than the first one. I think in many ways it's a lot more fun. The first one definitely felt extremely unfair with how little health they gave you to get through it. Uh, this one actually felt like a proper 1996 Doom mod, to be honest. And they're really setting the stage because we got in the spaceship, blasted off to our space. Now the question is, where do we go? Because with Team TNT, the possibilities here now are endless. Is the episode only five episodes in our space? Is it 11? I actually have no idea. But with us being in space, one thing's for sure, shenanigans await us. And with that said, thanks for joining you all. And I will go ahead, get this turned around, edit and upload. And we will see you in the next one.